Here at Indigo Farms on Hickman Road in Calabash, Mocha Cafe is serving up fresh coffee and great, delicious home-cooked family meals. I spoke with owners Courtney Decker and Kalena Owens to find out more about their new shop. Courtney and Kalena, thanks so much for letting us stop by and check out Mocha Cafe. You're welcome. <laughs> So y'all have opened this up uh, fairly recently. It's been this year that y'all opened up in yeah. 2018. Uh, tell me why you started to do a coffee shop here in Calabash. Well, my mom comes in or was coming into the produce market daily and she noticed that the cafe wasn't, um, hadn't been open for a couple of years. And Kalena has worked in a coffee shop, her mom's coffee shop actually for like the past five years or a little time. bit longer. Yeah. And um, her mom does, uh, what is your mom? She she's a director. It's actually a nonprofit faith based organization, but it's a coffee house in downtown Myrtle Beach. And she started there just being a barista, and then ended up becoming the director or one of the directors. Her and a guy named Kevin run it, and she does everything there. She's done it for like twelve years, and so I started working there as soon as I was allowed to. And then... So I got up with her because I love coffee and I love to drink it and she knew how to make it. And my mom bakes really, really well. She's been doing it her whole life. So, and I've, I've worked in the service industry for 15 years. So I kind of always wanted my own place. I knew Clayna did too. So we decided to, uh, my mom talked to the owners of the farm and uh, we talked to them and then we just decided to give it a shot and open up our own place. Y'all are, are related, I yes. should have mentioned that. Yeah. Just tell me how y'all know each other. <laughs> She's uh, married to my brother. She's my sister-in-law. Okay, so, so it's, yeah. a, it's a family affair. Yeah, and yeah. Said, my mom does the baking and cooking. Your mom does cooking. all the baking mm -hmm. and cooking and everything. Yeah. Okay, and it's, it's Mocha Cafe, but you have a lot more than just coffee. Yes. Yeah. So tell me about what you offer on your menu. Uh, so we have a daily special, changes every day, and it's always some kind of southern comfort food that we do. We do soup, sandwiches, that kind of thing. Um, when we first started, we were just doing a lot of the baked goods. We have uh, cinnamon rolls, uh, muffins. We do all kinds of scones. It changes all the time because we're always getting local produce, so it's never really the same thing just because it depends on what's in season, season and stuff. Yeah, and as you said, you have local produce, a lot of the farm to table stuff. A lot of organic uh, stuff. Yeah, because I know you mentioned uh, the farm. You're yeah. here at Indigo Farms, is where you're located. Um, right here ne next door, you can yeah. walk to Indigo Farms we and do. In between All the two and everything. <laughs> they, Tomatoes in the middle of the day. <laughs> yeah, Kalina, tell me about uh, what makes your food unique. Um, well, a lot of love is put into it. Mr. Renee's been baking for a very long time. And in the beginning, like she said, we were just doing the baked goods and the coffee. And then she used to cook dinner for the whole entire family every single night. She has 17 grandkids, like would cook enough for an army. And once she started working in our kitchen, um, we didn't have dinner anymore. So that's why we started doing the lunch specials and everything because it's family she and our family can say it my mom no, she, cooks, uh, she cooks all the time yeah. so. and like she won't she doesn't want to ever take a break or anything she'll just be yeah. in here cooking all day and night <laughs> like nonstop. oh yeah a lot of love's put into it though and a pinch of this and a pinch of that there's no like recipes ever so it's a lot of um it's just a family-run restaurant, so. Yeah, how awesome it is for her to share that with oh, our, yeah. the community here in, in Brunswick County in, in the Calabash area. It is. Yeah. Um, tell me, uh, what else uh, do you offer that may, you know, may not find in other places around here? Um, I know vegan, I heard something about that you have a lot of vegan options. We try to have vegan options like every day. We she makes vegan cinnamon rolls and we have vegan brownies mm -hmm. and she just tries out different Our things bread with vegan. Is vegan. Mm -hmm. Okay. And she'll try out different things. Her husband uh, found out he's allergic to dairy, which is why she started making okay. the vegan cinnamon rolls and yeah. stuff. And then we had other vegans come in mm -hmm. here, and so she's gluten free. We have a lot of gluten free yeah. stuff. Sure. She tries to make just different things she yeah. tries it out and it's awesome for folks around here that may have you know some kind of uh, medical conditions where they can't have everything you you have an option for them yeah. and that's that's yeah, really yeah we have great. a lot of healthy options yeah. we do homemade soups all the time yeah. and stuff like that so yeah and of course the food it sounds fantastic but mm -hmm. i do want to talk about the coffee too because that's yeah. you know yeah. the star of the show <laughs> yeah. yeah me and mocha cafe yeah yeah courtney tell me about the coffee um, so when we were starting to talk about opening and everything and trying to figure everything out, um, I realized it hit me that I went to high school with Sarah Moy, 
Um, so Sarah and Sunny, I contacted them in Shalotes. Um, they have Jumpin' Java, and okay. they also roast their own beans called Roost, the Rooster and the Hen. And uh, I just contacted her and started asking her questions. Um, they do organic beans. They roast them locally, and they have um, – it comes into different seasons, right? Like, yeah. So right now, do you know what it is right now? Or? I think we have, like, something – I think it's, like, Congo for the dark roast. And, like, it just – each – Changes the, where the we get the or where we get the beans from, it all changes through the season. So it'll be a more earthy, dark coffee in the winter, and in the summer, it's more free and light. Yeah. So we didn't it. just want to go with a regular like company that was mass produced coffee beans. We wanted to have like a local farm to table coffee as well. Okay, that's awesome that y'all are keeping it local yeah. and are partnering with a local coffee shop in Shalot. Of mm -hmm. course, many of us know Jump in Java, so yeah. it's pretty cool that you can get their coffee down here too. Yeah, they're awesome. Uh, and what's the reception been like from the community? Really good. Yeah. Oh yeah, Everybody we get, loves it. We have a lot of people that come in here like either every day or every other day for mm -hmm. our lunch specials. A lot of people, we'll get the same people in on Friday for fried chicken Friday. We'll get the same Ooh. people in on Tuesday and like they all come back because they've realized that it's a place that there's just a lot of love here and there's people tell. walk in and they can tell wow. it's family and it's friendly and we know everyone by their names. We've gotten to know the community more, which is mm -hmm. our, that was our goal in the first place was to be somewhere that, that all the community would love because there's nothing really out here. So yeah, it's such a warm family atmosphere in, in here. And that leads me to ask you what went into transforming this space into the warm, cozy place that it is, Courtney. Yeah, so when we, um, <laughs> started looking at you know the furniture and everything we wanted to reuse as much stuff as possible so my brother he redid the tabletops he did the bar that we have over there um we redid the floors um we went to hobby lobby and got a lot of uh like southern charm type of pictures and mm -hmm. stuff like that we did the lighting um we did a lot yeah, it's certainly, of, it's certainly a place where you can come cuddle up and yeah. have a warm cup of coffee. It's very uh, Hot cup of coffee yeah. here in the winter, in the cold winter months, or yeah. an iced coffee, you know, anytime. I know a lot of people like to, yeah. to get that when it's cold, yeah. even. And then you do offer all sorts of, of coffee drinks. As yes, well. all of our drinks can be um, hot or iced. Okay. All of them. All right. Well, thanks so much for letting us stop by and check y'all out here at Mocha Cafe. How can folks uh, get in touch with you with you know, social media, website, things like that, and your location as well? Yeah, so we're on Facebook and Instagram, and they're both um, Mocha Cafe NC, right? Um, Instagram is Mocha Cafe NC. Facebook is just Mocha Cafe. And your location? It's 1542 Hickman Road. It's in Calabash, North Carolina. And if you look us up on Google, it's on Google as well. All right, and that's Indigo Farms right there on the state line on Hickman Road. Yes. Yeah. All right, well, thanks so much for Thank uh, letting you. us stop by. It's nice Definitely. meeting you all. You too.